Yes, yes, I know it's P Burger Street. But in this video this week, we're gonna try to mix it up. I'm Eric from Video Lux Philippines. If you're new to the channel, awesome. If you're not, well, it's probably gonna be some nightlife coming up. There are so many cheap street food options in the barangay, but today we're gonna take a look at some of the Makati and BGC restaurants. Crossroads building in Bonifacio Global City has a lot of little interesting restaurants in it, one of them being Senor Polo. We used to come here a lot when we lived in uptown, but we'll feature a little bit of that tonight. It's just a really good roast chicken, cheapest drinks that you're gonna find at BGC. Even bottles, really cheap here. There is a Cow Kai chicken house here. That is the spot that I hit on Eber Street in Poblacion Makati. I featured it a couple times. Cow Kai, really good Thai chicken house. Really good dishes. Uh, great value for your money. Very tasty Thai food. And there's one at BGC. I maintain a pretty strict diet, but I'm kind of a closet foodie, so I'm always on the lookout for these little spots that cook their food from locally sourced fresh ingredients and pretty much make everything fresh from scratch. Only bands right outside Buccaneers. Oh my God, what's up bro? Only fans the page. Yeah. Best. He's, no, he's, 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 he's got it. I'm not articulate enough to actually explain how good OnlyFans was, but that was, oh my god, that f***ing taco, like, shredded beef, two different types of sauces, salsa, real cheese, like, like super, ah, uh, OnlyFans, baby, and it's 3.15 in the morning on Friday night. Cabrones, formerly known as The Social, is a great outdoor spot. You can get kind of a good party bar vibe going in here, but the great draw of this place is the new menu. It's Argentinian empanadas and other dishes, pulled pork tacos. What an incredible menu these guys have. It's something that's unique and different from just about everything else that anyone else in Makati is doing. This little spot right next to the Buccaneers never really even saw it before it's actually pretty cool pizza by the slice of manila craft beer nolita and joe's and girls singing karaoke it's a kind of quiet cool little new bar my bro found it this is a small bar kind of like a neighborhood pub and they had six craft beers on tap and in my book that makes it a win Craft beer, baby. It's a lot better than New York. Oh, yeah. Just take a look at those big pies. Those are like New York City pizza slices. Completely nondescript. You almost can't even tell it's a spot. This is a bar. This is Oto. This was like, they featured this on Netflix. Like, this is one of the top little craft new. Oh, hello. Sorry, I got distracted. Where did we see Lampara? The craft cocktail bars and we went in here tonight and the bartenders hooked us up oh my god this is a spot you gotta hit this is a sleeper spot this bar was actually ranked one of the top 50 bars in all of asia the cocktails are incredible this bar is kind of trendy but not too swank the staff was incredibly friendly and so welcoming. The only thing that kind of blew my mind about this spot is they don't serve beers. It's all craft cocktails. Oto takes its name from the Japanese word for sound. They had a killer all vinyl playlist in action at this jam. The cocktail lounge had a complete and varied selection of just about any kind of booze or drink you could possibly imagine. You could probably get a pan galactic gargle blaster in this spot. I had the equivalent when I tried the Our Stanley cocktail. Half ounce of gin, half ounce of Cointreau, and one and a half ounces of vodka. Damn. 
So I've said this many times in many videos. The thing I love about Manila is you never know what's going to happen. You never know who you're going to connect with. You never know who you're going to meet up with. Tonight, I met up with my bro, who's one of the owners of Club Urban. And, and now, there's a new club. Another club. That he's like hitting us to. Her. Wait do you see her pants. Yeah. It's real. You just, it's next level. Next level. My boy took us over to the new spot. This used to be Lion's Pride. This is now a Colto. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going in. We are going in. I was totally digging the Saturday Night Fever vibe dance floor and the fact that they weren't playing the same old top 40 crap that they play in just about every other club and bar in Manila. And I noticed they had ashtrays on the table, so this place allows smoking. Leaving a Colto with hotness, of course, because fuck, it's Manila. What else do you expect? The bar hopping MO is pretty much how we roll in Manila. You know, when we got a couple of friends in this spot, got a couple of friends in that spot, they tell you to stop by, have a drink, dance a little bit, catch up before hitting the next spot. Another level of insanity. Come on, baby. What? Come on, class. baby, girl. We're at a walk past. Yeah, because our bros are like, they're like 50 meters ahead of us going to the next club. And the club we're going to is the new bomb spot. I mean, it's not like it hasn't been a bomb spot, but it is the bomb spot. Club Urban. And the most incredible thing is the bros we're rolling with own the club. This is the spot. Bottle, where's the bottle? Rob has it. You're working good. She's hot as fuck, but she's fing serious. Look at that right there. Look how that it is. Oh, we're getting the elevator? Oh, the elevator's here. Right. I almost don't know what's more fun at Club Urban. Whether you go with your girl and her girls, go with your boys, or go solo. Because just about every single time I roll into this spot, whether I'm alone with my bros or with my girl, I'm having a blast. A lot of guys will say, don't bring sand to the beach, but that doesn't always fly in Manila because Filipinas love to dance and they love to dance so much that they just start dancing with each other. And then the next thing you know, well, you're dancing with the Filipinas that they were dancing with. It's just an all around good time. And if for some reason you don't like dancing with girls, well, there's all types of people in here that'll be happy to dance with a foreigner. The thing I like about the layout at Urban is that the tables aren't spaced too closely together. So you can dance at your table if you don't want to take the party to the main dance floor. But the tables aren't spaced far enough apart that it isn't still a very social vibe. So you can easily connect with the people partying at the tables next to you. And this club attracts a young crowd. These people don't come here to hang out and chill and have a chat. They come here to dance and drink and party. Let me just make a quick apology in advance for any of the scenes that are blurred out in this public YouTube video. The YouTube censorship machine is sweating me super hard. So that is why I upload unedited, uncensored, full cut videos every week for members of the channel. And if you're interested in joining this channel as a member, click one of the links in the video description below to take you to a short video about some of the perks you can see, like the Manila After Dark series, what's really going on in the Metro after the sun goes down. I love to go out with my girl. She just loves to dance. She's got all the moves. She's super fun and she definitely brings in the girls. Now, you might think that that's uncommon for a Filipina to want to do, because Filipinas have uh, a rap as being sort of notoriously jealous girls. But when I said, sometimes you don't bring sand to the beach, well, that doesn't apply 
and uh, sand like sand, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If you have any inkling of a passport bro mentality, the Philippines is definitely the spot for you to be. The demand for a Filipina girlfriend or wife is so intense that my girl actually does consulting with guys to show them how to meet and court a Filipina. There are certain elements of the culture that are kind of hard for Western guys to wrap their brain around. But once you kind of get the inside scoop on what a Filipina really wants in a partner and in a foreign partner, you are in. Trust me, it took me a long time to learn the game. And Filipinas are not your typical Asians. They're not demure like Japanese girls. They're not, well, I can't really say about Chinese girls, but my bro told me, do not ever marry a Chinese girl because your life will end when marriage starts. Now I'm not saying that's the norm and I'm not saying that's the case. And maybe he and just about every other guy he ever knew that lived in China and married a Chinese girl. Oh my God, I shouldn't be talking about this. Anyway, they're also not like Thai girls. These are Filipinas, guys. They are completely unique. So if you want to get the inside scoop, think about setting up a consultation call. I've said it before, and I'm saying it again. I would never date, court, or marry another woman on planet Earth unless it's a Filipina. One of the things that we like to do at the end of the night is wrap up with a little bit to eat. A lot of times, we'll just hit a spot like the filling station. It's a really unique restaurant right in the heart of Poblacio Makati. If you're in town, you gotta stop in for a bite. Always great when we can wrap up a late night before the sun comes up, and it's barely a 10 minute ride from Makati to BGC. Oh my God, you hear that banging? You might think condo living is the bomb in Manila, and don't get me wrong, I mean, it's not bad. It's got a lot of perks. Um, the alarm's going off. She wants to sleep more. What a fucking night. Oh my god. Rainy season ain't no joke. Normally you can see the entire Makati skyline here. You can barely even see BGC. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And you know what? Click that bell icon and you'll never miss an upload of what's going on in Manila, baby.